What's up my fellow FIFA hooligans? I'm Gaming Seth. Thank you for checking out another FIFA 20 video. If you enjoy the content and find it useful, please subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Today we're going to be exploring what's the best way to sign contract expiry or free transfer players. Should you delegate the task? Do it yourself? Well, today we're going to get to the bottom of the answer in this video. First, let's check out some of the contract expiry players available in my career mode. If you're looking for a list of the best players in season one of career mode, please check out the two videos in the links below in the comment section. I wanted to show y'all my finances so that you know I'm not just using the cheat of getting a takeover and buying up all of the players that I can. So in my career mode, you can see I have a wage budget of 94,000 and a transfer budget of just under 24,000 um, pounds. Basically, the reason I wanted to show you that is because when you sign contract expiry players, they do not eat into that budget. So there you saw, I came to an agreement with William. I delegated that task, and I'll show you that I still have 94,000 as my wage budget, and now I'm gonna go and accept his terms which are 89,000 and crucial and all that good stuff. But anyways, so I'm going to accept his uh, offer and the wage budget actually won't decrease. So that's a pretty great thing to know, especially if you're in a small club and you just need to sign players, then this is the best way to do it. If you can wait till January and later, once January 1st hits, you can sign a player on contract expiry but if no one picks them up even if it's all the way towards the end of the season you can still sign them there so it doesn't have to be in the january transfer window here you can see i'm doing this in june so well outside of the january transfer window if you're wondering how it is that my wage budget is actually increasing while i'm signing players even though we're outside of the season there's still uh, shirt sales, there's still income coming in, and so my budget will slowly be increasing. It won't make a difference as far as me signing contract expiry players. So now we'll try and sign a few other players since we know that the wage is not a concern. This only works if you delegate. If you go into the negotiations with the player and you do it yourself, there's two things that are going to happen. One is you are going to pay a signing bonus and possibly other bonuses based on their uh, play. The second thing that's going to happen is the actual wage budget that you have is now going to be implemented and you can only take the money out from that. So in this case, it's still, for whatever reason, showing 22000 as my wage budget, and I am now stuck negotiating with that limited budget. Um, I have never had a negotiation where I was able to negotiate something better than the deal that the delegator got me. So in this case, we see João Moutinho wants 55,000 a week which is great considering he's currently making 92 but he wants a 1.2 million pound appearance bonus and a signing bonus so that puts me way way over my budget if you try to edit the amounts it defaults to something where it'll break even in this case it's way under what Jean Moutinho is asking and his agent doesn't even counter. They basically tell me to go screw myself and they leave. So negotiating on your own can be a lot of fun. It's a lot more entertaining, obviously. And if you're not really conscious of a budget, if you're in a bigger club, then by all means, you can go for it. But if you are tight on a budget or if you're definitely one of the smaller clubs, then I recommend doing the delegate option like we're gonna do here. So I will delegate. One of the things I've realized was whatever they suggest, especially when you're at a small club, um, they lowball the crap out of players. So in this case, they say between 24,000 and 38,000 as his weekly wage. The issue with that is he will turn that down immediately. And basically it'll just come back as they are at an impasse with the player. 
I already know 55 was the lowest they went because I had manually gone and negotiated, but you can also just kind of play with the numbers and figure out where that sweet spot is for a player. Most of the time, I go through one or two cycles of this. So I'll delegate, I'll kind of pick a, a price range, and then they come back. Sometimes I get it spot on and they agree. Other times they go at an impasse, and then I just wait a week and try it again. The alternative, obviously, is you just save the game before you delegate, and then if it comes back positive and they sign, then you can save that, or you can just back out if it's at an impasse and reload the game. So now for Benteke, I know he makes 47000 a week at Crystal Palace, so I'm going to kind of go somewhere near that. Obviously, I want to get lower. That's a Premier League price, and I can't pay that. So I'm going to lowball him a bit to start off, but hopefully we can find kind of that middle ground in the low to mid 30s would be ideal. So now we'll just kind of sim ahead and give the agent some time to figure out the wages. And we heard back from Christian Benteke and a few of the others that I had already sent offers to. We'll go ahead and accept these because I do... Just kind of want to get as many of these players on board as I can. We'll go up to Christian Benteke and you'll see that he agreed to 34500 with no bonuses of any kind. It is only for a year, but that's okay. We can negotiate during the season as well. Or we could do a player swap the next season and get someone maybe even younger with similar attributes and price range. So there you guys have it. That is how I get new signings for free. The best method that I found was to delegate. That's basically how I use it. You can always get them for better wages, but just make sure they're within reasonable ranges. Don't lowball them too much or you'll lose out on them. That's really all I got, guys. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel. There's more stuff to come.